Hey, this is Ken Finnan at Capital Advantage Tutoring. It's my job to get you passed the Series 7 exam, the SIE exam, and all the FINRA exams. So a lot of people have a problem with I can't speak. That's right. They have a problem with the way I speak. So I'll keep going um, with taxes. Okay. So I've done a tax video, which I'll put a link here for, but let's talk about tax brackets, right? So I'm going to give you a little help on the tax bracket side and then show you the difference between marginal and effective rate. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is look at look at the different brackets, right? So this is the way it goes. So if you make up to, and remember, there's deductions. There's like a standard deductions. Which I'll, I'll show you that. I think I have that somewhere. So I'm also going to show you if you're single, the first twelve to standard deduction. If you don't, if you don't take your own deductions, like for charity and stuff like that, you automatically get this off of your income. So if you basically make thirteen grand a year, you won't have to pay any taxes. You'll file a tax return, and then they'll deduct the twelve thousand nine hundred and fifty from your income. So what you're going to do is, if you want to think of it this way, whatever you make, deduct twelve thousand nine hundred and fifty from it, and then start doing the counting. Same thing with married filing jointly. If you're married, you're going to deduct twenty five thousand nine hundred, and then start counting up. So the deduction takes off your income. So let's say you make fifty grand a year and you're single, you're going to deduct twelve thousand nine hundred and fifty from it, and that's your number. Okay. Now, if you're married, then if you make 50, then you take off the 25,900. That's your number. Now, you can also do, it, you know, it, what do you call it? Sta not standard deduction, but you can do um, itemized where you're taking off, you deliver to charity, do your miles, you're driving, depreciation, stuff like that. But a lot of people just take the standard and it works perfectly for them. But let's get back to the brackets. So, this is a screenshot of the various brackets that the IRS provides. I'm gonna transpose them onto my whiteboard, but that's what they are. So for the first $10,000, 10,275, you're making 10%. So that's gonna be 10,275 times 10%. That's gonna be $1,027.50. Then let's go to the next group. Now remember, if you're making up to the 41, you're not paying 12% on everything, just the amount in between the two brackets. So that's gonna be, we gotta do the math here first. 31,500 range times 12% equals times 12%. That money would be 3780. So you'd be paying 3780 in taxes on that. So on this amount, between 41, 41 grand and 89 grand, you'd be paying 10,406 in taxes. And then the 95,000 is only from 89 up. So you're gonna do 95,000 minus 89.075 equals 59.25 times 24%. That equals 1,400. So that's the taxes you'd be paying total. So let's add this up. 1027 plus 3780 plus 10406 plus 1422. So if you made $95,000 a year, and no, we're not even counting the standard deduction, you would pay 16000 635 in taxes, okay? Now deductions are nothing, I'm just saying that. So now to figure out the effective rate, we're gonna take that number and divide it by our salary. And that's 95,000. So it's gonna be paying around, our effective rate is 17.5%. That's our effective, okay? Boom, okay. So that's what we're paying on our salary. Now, when we talk about if you're gonna invest and they wanna figure out your after-tax yield and stuff like that, we don't do it this way. We're going to use the marginal because everything you earn, okay, so everything you earn oh, uh, on top of your salary is going to be taxed at that higher rate. So everything you earn is going to be taxed at the 24% rate. So the marginal rate is your 24%. Your effective is 17%. Now, the more you make, this will start going up because every dollar you make above the 95,000 is going to be taxed at 24%. So that's going to start having a bigger, bigger toll on your tax bracket. So remember, if you're making 40 grand a year and somebody goes, oh, we're gonna give you a $5,000 raise or a $2,000 raise, you're only paying higher taxes on that money over the 41,775, not the original 42 or whatever, 41, whatever you're making. So remember the effective rate is what you're actually paying on your all your income. The marginal is what you're paying, what they say on your last dollar, which means that last $6,000 that you were earning is taxed at 24%. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about is AMT, where they take some of the deductions away. But this is just a little primer on effective taxes versus marginal. This will help for the SIE, the 7, and just in general life. Thank you very much.
Watch me on YouTube live Tuesdays and Thursdays.